This is Blisso. And I'm Vic. Vic's is uh, slowing up a bit. And together with Mon and Cable and occasionally some of our favourite humans, we are Old Mac Crew. Join us on our adventure as we discover the best camping and swimming spots Australia has to offer in our old patrol and hybrid caravan. See what we get up to, the secret spots we find and become a part of our Old Mac Crew. Hey guys, Vic and Bliss here. Well, I'm here. Bliss is over making us a cuppa. Good on him. Bliss, oh. What's going on here? Where are we going today? Back up the mountains. We are. We are. So, we just got the swag on today and we're heading up to um, back to Kosciuszko because it's Anthony's brother's 50th and we're going up there to just have the night with them. We're here on the Tumut River at the moment, just making a cuppa on our way up. So we're just gonna go for a bit of a four-wheel drive, find a few tracks, and check out, try out my new Hema, and then we will head up to the camp where uh, the others are all camping, and we'll catch up with them for the night. Hopefully get a swim in, and somewhere nice to drive. We'll take you along and see where we end up. Um, we're always showing you footage as we drive past Blaring Dam, but it is actually really big. You'll always find a spot to camp here, and there is a, actually a, quite a bit to look at. So we thought while we're heading up and we've got a bit of time, we might actually give you a bit of a look at Blaring.
See, here's the fish. Oh, we just had a quick stop off of the Jernema Dam wall on the way up to the mountains. We never stop there, we always bloody drive past and never pull up. So we just thought we'd have a quick look today because we've got some time up our sleeve. So this is what it looks like. This is sort of flowering in here and it's all sort of a part of the snowy hydro system up here. Or the, and on this side, Never fished here, never, you know, never really, don't know much about it. I know it's uh, Tang Tangra, I think it feeds into here, or will be, or something. And then they feed Jonima Dam into Blowering, um, if need be. So, just over here is a little town of Taubinga. So, we're going to go through the road here and see where it takes us. But, yeah, not a bad little five minute stop. If you just need a break, they have, a, have five minutes out of the car. Well worth a look. It's only just off the highway, which is just over here. All right, we'll keep going. So this is where we are at the junction of these two roads. Yeah. And that sign there says Boundary Road and this Hema says Boundary Road. So where do we go? Where's this front road, uh, the, this road directly in front of us going to go? Well, it looks like it's a four-wheel drive track. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming so, the other one's to the left here. So boundary there. road goes all the way down and it just dead ends by the look of it. No, it might just end up down on the water there. Yeah, it follows the Tumut River. To the left. But this one directly in front of us here, I want to know where it goes. I don't want to... I reckon it all, because there's a road just behind us, it takes you to, it's like a dirt road or four drive track yeah, or something to... Yeah, Yellow Forest Road. Yellow Forest or Yellow Fin Road or something it's called. But it's actually closed, the gate 9K in it's closed. So you, you can access that way that way, but not at the moment. So I'm wondering yeah, so this, where this one goes. That, that one there by the look of it is Yellow Forest Road. Can you zoom in and... Yeah, let me go back to where it, we are. Just, just get that. it to take me back to where we are. Is there? So there we go. There, there's Boundary Road, which is so it's that other one. That track, and this one here is Yellow Forest Road. Your forest, yeah. Yeah. Unless this road here takes us around the back of um, this must be the Yellow Forest Road or something. I'm talking about. Must take that to get into the camping areas. Yeah. If that's the case, we'll go up and have a look at those few camping areas. I don't know if we'll do the whole track. Or if it's going to take us to the buggery, back to Chairman or something, like real kings. You know, if it's going to take us to some camping grounds, I'm pretty interested to go and have a look. Yeah. Because we've never been up here before. No. We just keep driving past all the time. It's one of them areas you just say, hey, there's not much here. And I thought, oh, we've got the time of our season. We'll come and have a look and see what's up here. And we sort of, a good time to break this big girl out and yeah. see if it can get us somewhere interesting. There's we'll a couple of lookouts. Hmm. It says there. Anyway. All right. Well, I think I'll mount this thing up here. Yeah. I'll put her up there because I'm getting a bit hot. Yeah, me too. Uh, get the air conditioning going. We'll go we'll stick a nose up there and have a look and see what you can find on that. We're going to learn how to use this thing. I'm not, we don't know really how to use it. I know you can do these things. But we're going to just sit down and fiddle with it and work it all out. Anyway, all right. Well, I'll let Vic, I'll let Vic play with that. I stopped. Sorry, I stopped no, talking yeah, and yeah, I started she's, she's just concentrating. We, we, we were just getting silent, so I'm going to... But on Falls Campground, that's where it could go to. Yeah, but we don't know that, do we? Yeah, we do, because I just followed the track around. Did you? With my fingers, that's why I wasn't talking to you. I see. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to set this thing up on the window, because I'm getting hot. So we can put that up in the window, and then we'll start heading up this track, and see where it goes. If we find anything interesting, we'll give you a look. All right.
That's rock there. That's rock. Seems uh, you're leaving us in silence. I am. I got you're leaving us in silence. Yeah, enjoy it while you got it. <laughs> All right. Get going. That was a bit wild, but there's another little down one here. Yeah, this is the way we come down from there. It's pretty gooey. We've just turned around. Stand this little side track down, so we'll see where it goes. So that little track that we followed down. So my new Hema tells me. Can you see that? Hard. The lighting's hard. Yeah. But my new HEMA tells me we are on Foreshore Road, which I assume means we're going back down to the water and probably trying to, probably finding some campsites on the back of the dam. As we suspected, we're, on we're onto something. This looks good. these little little side tracks I suppose would you say Bliss? Yes yeah, little side tracks that lead you down to the water so you've got the nice road and then you got these oh this is a good spot yeah they're not they're not far they wouldn't, they wouldn't be 100 meters off the track yeah so you just kind of poke down and find, find your own little spot to yourself yeah and you end up in a little spot like that way yeah Really nice. 
Yeah, this is the biggest space. Yeah, it's two ways in. Pretty nice spot. Beautiful, flat, not any shade. Good for your solar. What else is it good for, Bliss? Swimming. Gonna you know, try it out and have a little swim swim. We'll let you know how it feels. I reckon mm. it's gonna be nice. Yeah, it's gonna be nice water. Well, could be a bit of a muddy entrance, but we'll find out. We'll get our shoes on so we'll get our right. shoes, so you're all good. Alright, yeah, I'm coming. Looks a bit muddy on the entrance, but um, yeah, it's not. Very, I don't think it's not very cold. So on her scale, I think uh, it's nothing like mine. Anyway, we'll go and have a look. So this, <laughs> lovely isn't it? <laughs> it is really nice. Uh, this would be a real good family spot, like the yeah. waters, it is a bit muddy going in, not badly, not bad bad. And as the summer kicks on, yeah. it'll well, dry out. Well you see it, right out to where we were, the deepest I got was neck deep. Yeah. Right just in here is only knee deep really as you see when I walked in. Yeah. Really good area for kids and how many people do you see here? Not a one, Not big dog. Not a one. They're all over the other side. That's the Snow Mountains Highway over here. Just And you can see the other campgrounds along, dotted along the way. So they're all over there. And we're here by ourselves. How good is this? And look at it. It's a bit of grass here. It's probably, you wouldn't want to drive down too far on this because the water's dropping. But what a spot. Yep. Make some shade. Happy days. Let's keep going, eh? On truck, let's find another good spot. Another good spot. Happy days. favorite spot so far as far as little offshoot camping areas go the ground there looked really rocky there was someone camping there otherwise we would have had a bit of a better look and then you got this shady bit that's quite open this is just going to do a drive around Bliss was just saying it's not probably somewhere we'd bring the van. Bring the van in here. I'd bring along that track no problem. Yeah, the track isn't an issue. It's more, it's uh, very, very tight. Tight and it's very uneven. There's no real flat spot. So that'd be the only thing. Like if you want to get right down on the water, it's not flat, but you could easily get up here where this nice grassy area is, this nice circle and even then, I don't know. Um, only because the tightness to try and get back out, maybe. I would recommend not to, just to save yourself a headache. But you've got a big open spot here. Yeah, 
see this is what I'm talking about, like the nice big area. It's nice and shady here too, nice and shady and cool. So this would be alright for a van, the water's only just there, only just walk down the track. It's relatively flat, it's, got, it's still got a bit of a slope, but you could even it up with your, your ramps or cruise master system or whatever you've got. And, but um, we'll see what this track looks like to get out just here. This could be a bit, a bit there you go. Oh, yeah. Just near the blaring wall on the way back out of this track. Looks a bit, yeah, a bit dodgy getting down there, but it's not a bad little spot. But yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd camp here just for these banks to try and get up and down all the time. Barbecue down there if someone was shorter one. Yeah. Uh, this is the end of blaring. Jernam is on the other side of that wall. So I might go for a little dippy dip and cool down again. Yeah, the, it's, it's got a rocky edge, so it's, you don't have that muddy, muddy lead into the water. Look, look, all in all, it's not that bad to get into, really. Um, you reckon you need them? Yeah, I do. It's rocky. It's sharp, is it? Well, I was just going to walk in there and have a quick dip too, but it's a bit of a pest and. I'm not real keen. Well, I'm keen to go in, but not without those shoes. Yeah, but it's a long way back to the car to get them. Yeah, but they'll float away. Mm, there she goes. It's all over. That's it. Time to go home. She's blowing up. Alright. I'm going to go in. I can't touch the bottom here. Yeah, it looks deep there, eh? No good for the kids, but a really nice clean water bottle. Look at it. Oh, I can see my feet. Yeah, I can see your knees. I can see my thongs from here. Thongs, eh? Thongs. Beautiful. All right. This is a really beautiful swimming spot. Yeah. Me and Bliss were just by ourselves. I'll choose this just for the swimming. Swimming, yeah. Like it's not that. Look at that. It's not that muddy. It's not muddy at all. It's not muddy. Like it's a bit of a gate track to get in. It's not far to the truck not there. Really. Bit sharp, so wear your shoes, you'd cut your feet easy, no worries. But, uh, but the water's a lot cleaner. Is it cold? No, no it wouldn't be. No. Well, I better go in. I'm not going to get my shoes, I'm just going to take a chance because I'm too lazy to walk up there. So I'll, put, I'll turn this off for a second, I'll set her up, and I'm going in. No, I don't have a crack. It is different. There you go, but let's see. Just put your shoes on and be done with it, what is it?
that was a lovely freshen up in the day. Really nice. About three o'clock or something now. I think we might uh might we're back here at Talbinga where we started obviously. Nice little drive for the afternoon. Okay. Um yeah, so we'll just go on. It's three o'clock so I don't know what we're gonna do, make another plan. We've got to go and see my brother, so I might start heading heading towards that way a bit. Okay, well we've just taken this road, we're on Boundary Road, which is the other side of um, Talbingo. And luckily for us, we just parked past some park rangers who said we're actually on our way to Butong Falls. And if you remember right at the start, that's where we said we wanted to go. We kind of forgot about it because we got sidetracked finding some good camping spots on the back of Blaring there. But um, apparently we're only 20 k's from Butong Falls and old mate said it's really flowing well at the moment so it's worth a look so even though it's half past three and we're due in camp in a complete different direction what are we going to do big dog we're going for a look we're going for a look we'll show you what it's like when we get there so if you notice that those white pipes that's the snowy hydroelectrical system you can actually drive down there and check that out we've gone there before it's you can do tours there's two of the stations. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can tour that one, but you can tour the one that's on the Elliott Way. So she's a bit tight, Lisso. Getting tight and up now. Yeah, the blackberry bushes, a few pinstripes, let's say. So while well, it's a really good shortcut, which hopefully goes to Butong Falls, it is not a caravan. No, it's yeah. not a caravan anymore. It is not caravan friendly. Or it is not. I love my car. Cost me a thousand hundred million dollars friendly because you would definitely be getting pinstripes. Old Max Tough, you don't mind. Check this out. This is my new five watt GME walkie talkie that we got for this kind of thing. Also for parking a caravan, but the more four wheel driving we start filming, the more I realized, or we both realized that we needed some kind of um, way to communicate when I'm around a corner and, oh, nearly fell over then, walking up a hill or something to tell him that I'm ready. And um, hopefully it's going to work. It's five watts, and I think it was just over two hundred dollars on sale. And I've hooked it into our channel, so I'll just get around this corner. It's actually steeper than it looks, as usual. And I will tell Bliss to get going. End of uh, Boundary Road goes on to the Bayesville Road or something that way, and Badong Falls is to the left here. So we're on the way, we're on the right track, so we're gonna head down there. So hopefully, it's not too far away. No, right there. That's right. Have a little freak eggs from over this bridge. Look at that. Real nice. What's it like at your side? Yeah, it's really pretty, and if you back there we didn't stop but there's a lovely little camp spot probably big enough for one oh, back up yeah back up big dog so we can have a look we didn't realize there was a pretty little creek here but this is just we turned down that Butong Falls Road and then look pretty little campsite a couple of fire pits a couple of tables and tucked in there in the bush 
little toilet. This would be a really lovely little... Yeah, little campsite. Yeah, a really nice little weekend camp spot. You'd be able to hear the river here. The little creek. The little creek there, mate. Let's see if we can find these falls. A bit tight. Anyway, just enough room to get through that one. Well, we come back to that little campground we're showing you earlier. And apparently, that's is where the falls are. We don't know. They said it was signposted, but there's no sign back there. So, what do we got? Oh, it's the rock wallaby down there at the table. Maybe you can see there, he goes. Yeah. So this is. Bit of the campground just down the back. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. It's a bridge here. So we're assuming this is it, this is where the creek is, so we're assuming it's where the falls would have to be somewhere. Which is why no but, one can uh, find it, because there's no Yeah, they posts. say the oh mate said it was signposted, which it was up there on the road. To get out here it doesn't say nothing about the falls here, we just assume it's a little campground on the creek here. And we thought it must have went up the road a little bit more to get up to the top of the falls or something. But anyway. We ended up at the end of the road to Powerline Road and it said back there, 3Ks back this way so we assume this has got to be it so we'll go and investigate. Nice little bridge to walk over here. This creek looks, oh it looks awesome. I bet you it's cold but... I bet you that's cold here. Looks good but... So, Assume the fall's gonna be up over here somewhere. I hope it's not too long a walk. It's sort of getting late in the afternoon. We've still got about an hour or so back to uh, get back to Gerber Gandra, don't we dear? Yeah we do. Hmm. You alright? We'll walk our way up here, little goat track here, see what we can't find. How are you gonna go with this dude with your knee? Is. Correct. It's going up anyway. You gonna be right? Hey? So. It's not the end of the world if we don't make it, at least we know where it is now. If this is it. If this is it. If this is it. It's only a campground here. Yeah. In between that road and the other road and between the two Badong signs, so it's gotta be it. We did find another little track. But it went in nowhere really, so we just investigated and got in about 50 metres to see it, this ain't it. So this has got to be it. And I'm puffing already. No good. Probably about 500 kilometre walk up to the top of this hill here to get to the top of the bloody falls, I reckon. What do you think? <laughs> you can see it's just going up and up. Alright, we'll keep going before I'm wrecked. We'll see you at the top, hopefully. We're on the downhill. What's the problem of going downhill? Gotta come back up it. Absolutely. But I can hear heavy water like a fall, so hopefully it's not too far away. Have a look at this. Hey, okay. bit of rock hopping to get out. Nothing too serious. And the wife's got the crook knee, so she's gonna be careful. Plus we've got the right hiking shoes on, look at them. Look at him. <laughs> I have no knee going. No knee going. Where is that? In the front seat of the car. Good lord. So if it blows out down the bottom, I'd say she'll be camping here tonight. Hear that sound? Sounds like a waterfall to me. Wife's still coming. A few rock obstacles. And look at that, there's a bloody bit of water there. 
Yeah, that's the fourth, my word. Have a look at this. I don't know if you can see it yet, but I can. Looks awesome. Man, look at that. Woo. Hopefully you can see that. Wouldn't like to fall down there. See a bit of a swimming hole here. Good lordy. Excited there. Found it. Look at it. Not far in. Have a look at that. That is spectacular at the best of, the best of times. That is, look at it. Absolutely spectacular. All the rocks are down there. Where are you going? Just waiting for a mate. Waiting for a mate. So the track goes down here, so obviously you could probably get down to the bottom. Look at that. Jeez. Can't get the face there, unfortunately. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. It just drops off right there. Right there. We'll go down there. I think you have to go down the bottom bit. What do you reckon? Photos. I don't know. There's a little track here. Look at this. Not bad to get a bit closer. Watch the step, up. Yeah, if you have the walkie-talkie, you can say it's really 
I'll go down and take us for a walk down here in case it's a bit rough and thick. Make sure it's worth it. We'll come back and let her know. We're on my way down. That's just uh, the fix, fix just over here in the pool. That's where it falls off there. I think we'll get a good view of it over here in a minute. It's sort of pretty easy to get to at the moment. I don't know if it's going to take us all the way down there or not. I think it's gonna. He's on blowing, just going up the little hill. A bit more there. Whew, sweating. Might have to get in up back there. We'll go around to this bridge, just over here, and um, we'll have a look at it. I don't think it's gonna get us into. There's another four down there by the look of it, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this one at the moment. We're going to have a look. See you there. Have a look at that. That is spectacular. The bridge is just there. But look at that. Holy moly. That is awesome. Awesome. That's the creek runs right down. I'm pretty sure there's another little one just down in there. Have a look at that. Glad we found it. This is what happens. You go for a look around places you haven't been. Exploring. Things you find. We've been, as we said before, if we didn't hear us on the when we were up there at the water, we've been looking at this for this for a few years. We knew it was around, but we could never actually locate it. Here we are. I tell you what, it's well worth it. So I'm just going to go down here and have a look at this, and just see what it's like. I think I'll get Vic to come and have a look at that. I think she needs to see that. But um, yeah, I don't think there's any swimming down here. All right. I'll get down here. Oh, there's this big thing. There you go. It's got a bit of chain here. Look at that. A bit of chain. Help people get up and down. Yeah. That's good of them, isn't it? How good's that? I like that. Bit of security. Just sort of get down without any problems. Alright. Look at that. See it down. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Just there. Another four and another four there. Right at this, over there. Anyway, these are no good. Anyway, I'm gonna just go up here a bit further. See where it takes us. Yeah, I can see where it's going. You're gonna have to walk a long way to see that, but I don't think I'm gonna keep going. It's a long way walk you now, but you can see it there. Geez, that's a fair drop. Look at that. Good Lord. Wouldn't want to go off there. See if we can get up a bit of way. Look at that. Way down there is a beautiful, beautiful area. I'll just go a few more meters and see where it's going to go. Yeah, yeah, can't see much. You're going to have to go right around through there. And then it's getting a bit late. I think we're going to come back here. We might uh, bring the swag back and camp it out and have a good look at it. But um, yeah, that's the fall there. And that's sort of the end of it. Oh, no, here we go. Made it worth our while. I can see it. Look at it. Beautiful. I'm glad I come that extra few metres. Have a look at that. That is sensational. Three, what have we got? One, two, got four falls in the whole but Badong Falls, it's called. Kosciuszko National Park. It's right not far out of the Bago Forest where we were earlier. Wow, this is sensational. I really want to swim. That's, I'm really hot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back up now. I won't. I'll turn you off so I can just head up. And um, yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna go for a swim. I'll at least get wet because I am so hot. It's ridiculous. All right. We'll see you back at the top. Well, that's better. I've had me cool off. I feel much better. Found the wife. She's still here. We're gonna head back up. Have a cuppa. Up and we're going to head to uh, see my brother at uh, Rock Flat. So we're going to come back the same way we came. So well, where we come up, we're going to go back down. So we might have a bit of a look at that.
Hills. I just cruising down, heading back to Boundary Road now. Um, we're heading to, towards Goober Gandra now to go and see my brother. So, um, yeah, so sort of the day's finished up here. It's been a great day, hasn't it, Dan? Oh, it's been awesome. Yeah. Every day you get to swim on top of a waterfall. Exactly right, yeah. So we're just cruising down here in second lane, just letting the vehicle do its job. It's steep but not terrible. Uh, it's just nice control. The old girl handles this stuff pretty well. Views, yeah. Uh, yeah, happy day. It's been another fantastic day. Um, we're back here at the Judima Creek Spillway. This is where we were earlier in the day, probably two hours ago. We were looking at the fish and we had a bit of a poke down there. So two hours later and check out what it looks like now. today and it's performing beautifully after Bliss give it a bit of a work over. Now here's the test. So what did you actually do Bliss? I right, just done all the, um, changed the engine oil, all the filters, pull the radiator out, cleaned it, um, new coolant, all that sort of stuff, give it a once over, new thermostat and uh, yeah it's performing really well. I'm really happy with the results. Why did you uh, it just seemed to be warming up a bit more than usual when we'll just cruise along on a hot day so I just thought the radiator might have been a bit blocked which the radiator itself was good but it was blocked with a heap of crap and that in, in the fins of the radiator so it wasn't getting enough air so um, and the coolant was a bit light on too it'd been diluted a fair bit with just top ups here and there or when I've changed thermostats or done a bit of work to it lost a bit of fluid so it was diluted fairly well so it wasn't doing its job either so now it's got new cool on the radar, it's been flushed and cleaned out, it's, it's barely warming up at all. So I'm really happy with the results. We're just heading up to Bingo Mountain now, up to Kosciuszko. And uh, we're going up the third gear, about 50 k's, and she's holding steady on the temp. Show that Vic. I don't know if you can see that. The temp's holding steady, it's beautiful. We usually come up here, get over, you know, by the time you get up, halfway, probably up around half or three quarters on the temp gauge. At the moment she just holds steady so really happy with it and um, all those TD lovers out there just a bit of maintenance every now and again doesn't hurt and it makes it go a long way to making these things run a bit cooler and going a lot better. Oh dear. So it's eight o'clock. Oh, it's eight o'clock at night. Chris is going to be in bed by the time we get his bloody birthday cake there. We're just flipping down this power line truck that we, track that we've done a heap of times before. The Hema come good and showed us a few huts that are on here. Um, but we decided, not nah, can't muck around. We'll come back tomorrow. Just got a motor to camp. We're only 10 k's away from camp. <sighs> Wouldn't you know it? I said to Bliss, oh, well, just grab the chainsaw. And he went, I packed in a hurry. We don't have the chainsaw. It. So I think Big Dog's going to hook the winch up. We might have to try and winch because it's just too big for us to move. And if we try and go back, it's about another 40 k's around. So I think we're going to try and hook the winch up and just winch it out of the road. See how we go. What are you going to do, Big Dog? I'm going to winch it till it breaks and drag it back. In. Okay. Just because we're in a bit of a bit of a hurry. Got wedged in the tree. All right.
control handbrake, thank you. He's getting in the flat. Look at him go, Tonka tough. That's why I married him. <laughs> I'll spot you through, big that, dog. That'll get us through. Yeah. Normally do a better job, but we're running out of rail. Yeah. Well, this is just saying, normally we wouldn't leave a track like this, but we haven't got a, chain, a chainsaw and it's after eight o'clock. So he's just done what he needs to do to get through. And really, no wind, oh, lightning. No winch, um, no dampener, nothing like that. It's probably the shittest way to do it. Easy big dog. Saw that. Onward and upward. Great. We just come up to Lindsay's hut on the Gerber Gandra power line road. We just had a look see at it. It's hidden right. Yeah, I love it. She loves it. She wants to live there. Her, name, her name's already in it, so we, she's going to move in. Big fella, I don't know. You might pull the pin. I just anyway, it on. just a little hut we found on the way through, so we just thought we'd check it out.
reckon what do we do? See him in the next one, dear. I'd say, yep. Yep, if we stop rolling around here, they just carrying them like silly buggers. Anyway, yep, we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you're liking what we're doing here, just give us a like and a subscribe so you don't miss out on any uh, new episodes, all right? <laughs> Look at this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's like, like a dancing hippo, isn't it? Jeez, well, we bro. dance our way to the bottom. Catch you guys next time. <laughs> we'll catch time. you in the next one. Cheerio, guys. Cheerio, guys. Cheerio, guys. <laughs> <laughs>